Baltimore is off to a violent new year, and the city and the city police department are taking a new approach to fighting crime. WJC is live outside police headquarters. Rachel Menetoff explains how it works and why it may help a police department that struggle with a shortage of staff. Rachel. Vic, the plan is to condense the number of zones that police officers patrol to prioritize the most violent neighborhoods. The city is still reeling from the pain after a deadly shooting claimed the life of Baltimore activist and Safe Streets leader Dante Barksdale. It's a real big hurt and a real big loss. And I'm a miss them. I'm a really miss Dante. Officials are now grappling with ways to address these kinds of violent crimes. We are still losing far too many people to violence. On Wednesday, Mayor Brandon Scott and Police Commissioner Michael Harrison say they are reducing the number of microzones from 131 to 81. These are areas patrolled by police. Some of them have been condensed or eliminated altogether because of low incidence of crime. The idea is to deploy as many resources to neighborhoods with the highest rates of violence. These new zones represent the areas where nearly 30% of homicides occurred and about 45% of where all shootings have occurred over the past 18 months. The mayor says BPD simply can't be everywhere, so he hopes this shift will give officers more time and flexibility to address the root causes behind the violence and to engage, build relationships, and problem solve. Every time he sees me, he give me a hug and say, pray for me. A memorial for Dante Barksdale marks the site where he was killed two weeks ago. Dolores and Dante had become fast friends, his death leaves a gaping hole in her heart and that of the community. We need help around here. And Dante tried to help. That's what he was about. Commissioner Harrison said today that he does not have a motive for this crime. He says, though, that a lot of information is coming in about Dante's case and they are tracking down each and every lead. As always, anyone with information is asked to call BPD or Crime Stoppers. Live in Baltimore tonight, I'm Rachel Menetoff for WJZ.